What is up you guys, so today's going to be a tutorial showing you guys how to do these pixelated transitions and effects and this was inspired by Taylor Cut Films and we're going to be doing this in Premiere Pro so let's get started. Okay so I have my two clips right here and I'm going to first show you how to use this as a transition. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select both clips and then hold all and then drag it to the second video line so that we have two layers and copies of the clip. And then we're going to work with just our second line. So in effects, we're going to search up mosaic and then we're going to put that on our first clip. So now you can already see this pixelated effect. But if we adjust the horizontal bars, the higher the number, the smaller the little blocks will be. So bring it up high and then bring up the vertical blocks all the way high so that you go back to your normal clip. Okay, now a little before the end of the clip, we're going to start the transition effect. So let's press the keyframe button for the horizontal blocks and vertical blocks and then go to the very end of the clip and then we're gonna just adjust the horizontal blocks and vertical blocks all the way down so we can get a pixelated effect. And you can adjust it to your liking. I kinda like to keep it at about 16 and 10. So now it slowly transitions into this pixelated look. But now we're going to do this with our next clip too. And the reason why I'm not using adjustment layer is because you get black edges around and there's no way to fix it except for just duplicating the clip. Okay, so to make the keyframes a little bit more smooth, we can select all of the keyframes and then right click and press Bezier and it should be a little bit smoother. Okay, now we can save this as a preset so we could save time in the future. So we can right click on Mosaic and then press save preset and I'm just gonna save it to pixelated transition and then we can press OK so now we can search up pixelate transition effects and it'll pop up and then we can drag that onto our second clip and the second video line so now we can go down and see that we have that preset on it but the transition is taking place in the end because that's how we saved it so we're gonna make this effect go in reverse. So let's just drag the keyframes all the way to the beginning a little bit before the clip starts and then we're gonna bring the second keyframes forward so before the first keyframe. So basically they're in reverse direction. So if we watch it back it blurs and then unblurs. So yeah this could be a cool effect that you can use. Okay so there's different techniques you can use with this so I want to show you one thing you can do using the pixelated effect so I'm going to bring in another clip right here, and then I'm also just going to duplicate it. And for this one, I'm going to search up mosaic in effects again, and then put that on our top clip. Okay, so once you've added the mosaic effect, you can adjust the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks once again to make it not have the effect anymore. So you just bring those numbers all the way up, and now it looks back to normal. And then you can go to the pen tool, and for this one, I'm just going to mask out my sister in this video but you can use this on a lot of different objects. I know Taylor Cook Films used it on Camila Cabello in his video. So you're just going to use the pen tool to create little masks. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not making it very perfect because masking takes a lot of time to make it look really nice. So I'm making it kind of messy, but uh, you understand what I mean. So once you finish making the mask, you can reset the horizontal blocks and the vertical blocks. And then you can adjust those numbers to create a glitch that you actually like. So I'm keeping the horizontal blocks at 62 and the vertical at 103. And then I'm going to press the keyframe buttons for both blocks. And then I'm just going to go just a little bit forward and then bring those numbers all the way up back again so it looks like the normal clip. So you can definitely adjust those sizes of the blocks in the beginning. So I'm changing it to 26 this time. And then you can also adjust the mask feathering so the edges aren't so harsh. So I changed it to 78. And you can also adjust how wide the keyframes are. So you can get it to your liking. So yeah, that's another technique you can use. And one thing you can do for this is add RGB split. And I have many tutorials on this, but I'll show you guys how to do it here. So what I like to do is I'm just going to show you for this first pixelated transition. Okay, so we're going to go to the very crack of where the two clips meet and then press M to make a marker and you'll see why we'll do this later. So it just makes a green mark. So I like to just drag all the four clips and then command D 
to create a new nested sequence and now it just becomes one sequence but it's nothing has changed it's basically the exact same clips going on and effects but then I like to search in effects RGB and then put on color balance RGB onto the clip and then I'm going to change the blending mode to screen and then I'm going to hold all on the nested sequence and drag it twice so we have three copies of it and then for my top clip I'm going to go to red and then keep it at 39 and then for green I'm going to change it to zero and then for blue I'm going to change it to zero and then the second one I'm going to change red to zero and then blue to zero and then for the third one I'm going to change red to zero and green to zero okay so you can adjust the scales of uh, the other clips too or the rotations but I like to use the top clip which shows this 3d red and blue RGB look so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where we put the marker, change the scale to 103 because I like it at 103, I guess, and then press the keyframe button right where their marker is, and then just go a few frames forward to where the pixelated effect is over, and then press the reset button, and then go to the other clip where the pixelated effect is just about starting, and then press the reset button. So basically the RGB look is only going to be where the pixelated look is okay so that's the whole tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys